it is? Your boy, Big Will Steel, about to conduct an interview with St. Pete's own, Tampa's own, Jamaica's own, the Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion of the World, Lenroy TNT Thomas. Okay, now we good. Now we good. Now we good. So, um, okay, so, uh, so you're in Vegas right now. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm in camp right now. Okay, okay. And you're, are you, are you going to give us, like, who you're going to fight or is there anything in the works right now for you? Listen, man, listen, um, you know, I have to be honest with you guys, you guys hold me down. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the other so-called, uh, what you want to call it, so-called, uh, you know, reporters, uh, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, they show no love. So I give love to the folks who give love back to me. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. But we got big things on the table. I'm talking about big things. Yeah. Um, we got things popping off in the UK. We got things popping off in the States. And, uh, you know, man, look, I'm shooting for the stars, man. I'm shooting for the moon. So if I line between the stars, I'm okay with that. That is that's that's what we like to hear. That's what we like to hear. No, we appreciate you giving us this um interview. Um, you've always supported us too. You know what I'm saying? Sidestep, we come in, we've come a long way, a long way. We still got a long way to go. But, but with fighters like you giving us interviews and stuff like that and answering questions that the world wants to know, man, we greatly appreciate it. Now, another question before you get started. Um, breaking news: Is this true? You are now training. That's why you moved to Las Vegas, Nevada. You are now training with the father and trainer of former IBF welterweight champion of the world, Showtime Sean Porter. You are now training with his father, Kenny Porter. Correct. Woo! Yeah. Woo! It, it, it is true. Oh. Um, it's nothing... Uh, I can't... It's nothing, it's nothing like the, the, the intensity of the training here. Um... You know, every week we ain't 10,000 feet up in the mountain training. Um, my first week out here, man, it felt like my chest was going to jump out. You know, my heart was going to jump out of my chest, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I've been out here for a couple of weeks now. I'm getting acclimated. Um, and, and you boy, man, listen, like I said, man, this, this is God's doing. You know, everything is coming full circle. Mm -hmm. um, I put the work in. Um, after the boxino, you know, I lost against Fedesaw, everybody was just like, you need to quit, you need to hang it up, but, um, I kept on believing in myself, man, and just kept on pushing, and you already, you already know the story, Will. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, uh, I, man. I never stopped, man. you know, now, you know, I'm, I'm seeing it, you know what I'm saying, I'm seeing it, bro, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I got my television on, you know what I mean, yeah. and, uh, I'm just riding the wave, bro, this momentum, I'm riding it, you know. Absolutely. The hard work do pay off. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. No, no, we're proud of you over here. Now, why, why Vegas? Why Vegas? Man, um, I've been out here with Winky, a training camp. Mm -hmm. I never thought I would have my own training camp here in a million years, but this is where I end up back. Um, and I'm not questioning how God's doing things. You know, I'm just going along with the flow and trusting Him. You know, trying to lean on my understand, on my own understanding. I'll let you direct my step. And you know, what happened in the UK was um, momentum for me. Um, you know, my trainer, uh, so-called trainer, didn't show up or whatever you want to call it. And you know, uh, Kenny was on his vacation, and he stepped up. And you know. In moments in that fight where I needed that extra push and he pushed me and you know before that we quit um you know and then for me to see him I was calling him a few hours and said look man uh, I'm gonna need you and you know you're on your vacation you're coming to relax you're not coming to work mm -hmm. it was like second nature to him he just said okay let's go wow. um you know he went back watch a dude who you know watch Dave Allen and you know what I'm saying? You're already familiar with me a little bit, and you just say, hey, we're going to stick to the basic. And, you know, as the fight goes on, he was giving instruction. He was breaking it down as the fight goes on, round by round. And, uh, you know, that, that, that's, that's how it happened, bro. That is, you know, now we have, we have big things going on, man. Man, that is absolutely amazing. So you, you're going you're gonna to have to, you, are you going to defend your title, and you're going to have to obviously travel to Europe, to the UK to defend it, correct? 
No, I can defend my time anywhere. Um, right now, it, it, like I said, we have deals on the table. Um, like I said to you, uh, I'm trying not to lean on my own understanding. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just trusting God and whatever the best opportunity for me um, and my future. Um, and the team come together, we will decide. Um, but I know I can defend it between September, you know, October, November in that range. Mm -hmm. um, this is why I'm all here right now, busting my butt. Um, <laughs> slim, you know, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't really got in some good shape since I'm out here, bro. So mm -hmm. um, I'm ready, man. I told him I'm, I'm ready to go. So I'm trying to get something, you know, uh, next month. You know what's going on next month. Um, I won't speak much of it, but as soon as everything is, is in black and white, yeah. And I put my name on the paper. I, I would call y'all, but you know we got, you know, got a couple time, you know, couple couple weeks to go before the big show, and uh, you know it, it's a big moment, and I'm, I'm ready for it. There you go, <laughs> you know there I mean? you there you go, man. That's what's up. So what's the difference I'm between? I'm thinking the line, but I know you're a smart guy, so I know you caught on to what I said. Oh yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely, I got you, man. So what's the difference between training here in Florida and training in the mecca, the mecca of boxing? The hotbed of you know, boxing, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, it's not that training here and training you know, back home. Back home is a lot of distraction. Yeah. Um, and you know me. Uh, back home, most of the stuff I did was myself. Mm -hmm. So now I have somebody who teaching. Uh, I'm a little mistake and correcting me. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not you know I'm not going to change overnight, but. Trust me, I'm eager to learn and I'm a sponge and I buy into the program. I buy into the, the crazy runs they do in the mountain. You know, everything they do is crazy, but I buy into it. Mm -hmm. And as a heavyweight in shape, man, them boys gonna have a problem with me. Yeah. You know, you already know what I'm capable of, but imagine me being in 10 times better shape than these guys. Yep, yep, yep. No, I totally hear you. I hear you. So, yo, there's, a, there's a lot of, well, not rumors about you, but we're gonna talk a little bit about the heavyweight, if you don't mind. Okay, so this, well, Friday, no, Saturday. Uh, um, Big Baby Miller versus El Gajo Negro Gerald Washington. Um, how do you see about that fight? And do you mind facing any one of those two fighters? Listen, man, the price is right. I don't care who I face. Period. Um, that, 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 you know, I don't know much about both guys, mm -hmm. but, you know, Miller, I know from watching him fight, uh, um, one of my buddy who was on the boxing and tournament with me, um, I forgot his name. Um, you see that like he's, he's a person fighter, but dealing with Washington Heights, and if Washington can use that reach, use a distance, you know, he should take him apart. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, Washington, if Washington is the best Washington show up, it should be a good night for him. Um, you know, but I, I'm going to be a fan. I don't know who's going to win because I don't know much about, you know, about both guys. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I'll be cleaning Saturday night, you know, and you got Browner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, you know, other people call him Browner out, but I think with all the adversity he's been through, um, if he hasn't humbled, then this is it for him, you know. Uh, I hope he can just humble himself and, and bounce back, do what he really loves to do, and let the arrogance go, because he, he, he only can be one for him anyway. Yes. You know, um... So I'm, I'm rooting for Browner just because underdogs, I know all what he's been through. You know, he put himself through it, but mm -hmm. I don't think he can change. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm pulling for him. Absolutely. You know, but it's not an easy fight for him. No, no, definitely not an easy fight against Mikey Garcia, one of the top, top fighters in the world. You know what I'm saying? Undefeated, hungry. He's moving up five pounds to, um, from 135 to 140, junior welterweight to fight Adrian Broner. Now, next question. Um, these fights are not signed, not sealed, not delivered. They're just rumors and obviously sidestep boxing. We bring you all that news. So, November 11th at the T-Mobile Arena is penciled in Anthony Ooh. Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko, the rematch. What do you think about that fight? Listen, man, it, that one going to be epic. And this is what I told you. There's a lot of, there's a lot of deals in the table. So, it's big stage up the big stage. Um... You know, am I might land in that one. Um, I might not. I, you know, just see what happens. Um, Joshua got a buzz going on right now, man. Confidence is high. He was he he, he was here in Vegas last week, uh, for a couple of weeks, so he hanging out. Um, 
But I'm glad you're bringing it to the state. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I'm glad they're bringing it here um, in Vegas. So the U.S. fan can really see see him and, you know, he, he perform. But uh, I just think, you know, with, with his height and, you know, the victory over, over uh, Klitschko, he got a momentum going. But if Klitschko really go back and rededicate himself and get in better shape, he can pull it out. You know what I'm saying? So it, I give it, honestly, man, I give it, I, I, it's going to be close, bro. It's going to be close. Mm-hmm. No, I hear you. Definitely, definitely a pick em fight. Definitely a pick em fight. It can go either way, just like you said. I agree 100% with what you said. Now. You know, it's not, it, it won't be a walkover for either guy. No, he absolutely won't. not. Absolutely because not. Both guys went on the last fight, and I think if Klitschko um, didn't take his foot off the gas in the seventh round, you know, he, he would have get him out of there. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, I think with that. Um, he's gonna come because he he you know this is his last shot, so it, it, it's gonna be a war again. And yeah. Joshua better not take him lightly. Oh. Joshua should be in better shape and go down a little bit in weight, you know, because he went up too big. My personal uh, thoughts on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now the the rumored one, the big one. I don't know. You probably more than know. I mean, you know more than I do. This is just rumored, but a lot of people are posting. There's a lot of talk, a lot of chatter. Everything is going on. November 4th, WBC <laughs> heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder versus Lewis King Kong Ortiz. I know you've been in camp with Lewis King Kong Ortiz. If this fight was to happen, how do you see it playing out? Wow. Um... Bro, <laughs> okay, um, we like, uh, you recording right now? Yo, everything's being recorded, this whole conversation is being recorded, so you know what you gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, that's gonna be a good one, man. That's gonna be a good one, okay. Uh, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good one. Um, me being an artist, man, you can't make a mistake with that guy. Yeah. You cannot make any mistake with him. And to be honest with you, I picked up a lot of uh, a lot of good things from him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the guy is very sneaky. Um, and and as fight as the round goes on, he breaks you down. You know, you know what I mean by that. Yes. He's very articulate about his punches and combination. You know how to reserve energy. You know when to press. Mm-hmm. And you know when to show a power shot. He's, he's a seasoned veteran, mm-hmm. and to be honest with you, this is a fight he wanted, you know, from maybe three years, two, three years ago he wanted this fight. Mm-hmm. So every day while I was in camp with him, he was dreaming about this fight, bro. So mentally, I think he already put himself there, winning this fight, or winning this fight. And this fight might not go to distance, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Um, while there was this range, um, and, and, you know, he... he he has an odd style, bro, um, meaning that he's rangy, he's wild, so he's not the kind, the kind of person of boxing that we used to stand up jab. No, he throw punches from, from everywhere. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a chess match the first couple of rounds, but I think the season veteran, if he put it together, he would put it out. And again, with, with Wilder, you know, with, with the Joshua Hype, he has to make a statement. So this is a pressure fight for both guys. Ortiz is older, and if he want to continue reigning the uh, division, this is this is the time to do it. Yeah. So the pressure is on both guys. You get what I mean? Yeah. We got Josh, which you know, um, Ortiz wanted to fight him. Then you know you have Deontay who want to fight Joshua. So my thing is, bro, this is this is a big fight for both guys. You know what I'm saying? That's going to impact their career to the next level. Mm-hmm. So, uh, may the best man win, man. I- I'm just here. I'm just a small fish, you know, swimming with a shark that just trying to get mine. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, you know, so with me being around him, bro, I picked up a lot from him. Just like with Povinkin, um, Brian Jennings, all these guys, man, I pick up good habits on how to act like a professional and how to get ready. And as you can see, he helped me in my last fight. And it's going to help me get ready for my next one. You know, um... 
when I say we have some big things working on the UK, and as soon as everything is finalized, you'll be the first guys to know about it. As soon as I put the pen down, I'm gonna call you guys and give you guys the update. Um, so everything is working out right now as we speak. Side steppers, you 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 heard the man. As soon as he puts pen to paper, he's going to give us the exclusive on who he's fighting, when he's fighting, and how he's going to knock the dude out. You heard him. Lenroy TNT Thomas, man. Yo, and um, So you're not going to go on record and let us know if the fight's going down between Deontay Wilder and Lewis King Kong Ortiz. You're not going on record. Not just yet. Not just yet. Not just, um, not just yet. Uh, because I, you know, what I'm saying I would talk to you guys personally yeah. and let you guys know, really, you know, what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what, what's going on? Yo, yeah. and, 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 a, and a, a, another question I forgot to ask you before: How does it feel, or not? How is it like working alongside um, the ex welterweight champion of the world, Showtime Sean Porter? How does that? How does he motivate you? How does he push you? And, and how's it like training alongside of him? Listen, like I told him, <laughs> my goal is to do everything he do. Um, we're on the track, we're running, I tell him, by the end of my camp, is to beat him in everything he do. Um, and that's just, uh, the competitive side in me, knowing that he's an animal, he's a pressure fighter. Um, and I need to get something from it. Mm -hmm. you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So every day he's running, I'm behind him. And I'm talking to him. I'm coming for you, Sean. I'm coming. <laughs> so it's motivation, man. And just to see how he carry himself on the dude, um, you know, a guy here and man, a you know, family guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't have to be in a better position, man, honestly. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. And you have you seen Floyd Mayweather? Have you seen the other fighters out there in Vegas hanging out? Yeah, man. Everybody's out here. Um, you know, and, and that's another thing too. I'm gonna talk to you guys offline about mm -hmm. um, <laughs> some crazy stuff went down. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I will put you guys in at that point. That's what's up, man. Your Lemroy, like I said before, uh, size on behalf of Size Step, I just want to thank you um, for this opportunity. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for the insight. Thank you for your passion and everything that you show towards boxing and towards side step boxing, man. And I'm about to yes, sign man. out, yes. everyone. Lenroy, TNT, Thomas. Anything else you got to say before I sign out? Yes, man. Uh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, real quick. Hold on, real quick. I'm trying to get out. Uh, uh, okay, coach.